Hey friends, it's me Stace. Today you're going to see Stace create these really cute just because envelopes. We'll be using the Cricut Design Space. We're going to be using the marker as well as some vinyl to attach it to a little envelope. How fun is that? I just have each one closed off with some twine. Let me go open that up so you can see on the inside. There you go. You can put whatever you want to put inside the little envelope. Very, very fun. Oh, let's go to the computer and we'll get started. All right, here we are at the computer. I'm already inside a Cricut Design Space on the welcome screen. From here, we're going to go to the upper left-hand corner in that search box and type in the words, just because. Then click on enter. You'll see it take us to a project. And you'll see there the just because envelopes. Going to click on that. It'll bring up a preview window. On the far right, the very bottom, and click on customize. All right, I'm going to minimize my design area by going to the bottom left and clicking on that minus sign. So I'll be able to see all the envelopes. So some of them do come in a group together. So if I click on the very first one, you can see it's all by itself. The second one, they have the two of them grouped. So I'm going to highlight that or right click on that and choose ungroup. Do the same for the bottom. Right click on that and choose ungroup. Now they do give you extra faces or different faces. So if you want to change these out, you certainly can. I'm not going to do that, so I'm going to delete those. I do want to resize the envelopes, so I'm going to highlight the entire envelope, the text as well as that little smiley face. Go to the very top where the size is, I'm leaving the lock locked and I'm changing just the width and making this be 7 inches. That's going to give us about a 3 by 6 size envelope, which I thought was fine. So I'm going to highlight all the other ones and do the same thing. And our last one right there, resize that to be 7 inches. Alright, we are good to go, I'm going to go to my upper right hand corner and choose to make it. I am using my Cricut Adventure, but you can use whatever machine you like. So I'm going to choose on mat. And I'm going to choose a 24 by 28 inch mat, and I'm going to choose confirm. So our first one's going to be our vinyl pieces. I'm actually going to change the size of this mat to be the 24 by 12. Just bring my little vinyl faces up here. If you don't want to use vinyl, you can certainly use cardstock and glue the pieces on. But I did find the vinyl a little bit easier. All right, so there's our first mat, and we can, or I'm able to fit all six of these on my larger mat. I'm going to choose Confirm, go ahead and cut these out, go to the table, and we'll put our little envelopes together. All right, we're back. Everything is cut out. You can see I did weed my vinyl. I also went ahead and scored all of my envelopes, and I used my quarter-inch crocodile punch to round the corners. Now we're going to go ahead and assemble them. So we're going to go ahead and put this up like that, put some glue on these flaps. Actually, I'm going to put the glue on here. Okay, now we're going to bring that up like that. Let that sit for a minute. Now, if you want to, you can always come back in. I do have a punch somewhere. Let me look at it. I do. Just a three-quarter inch circle punch and create a little thumb notch right here. I think I'm going to do that. There we go. All right, now we're going to bring this guy down, and our little face is going to go right here. We're going to first assemble all the envelopes first. These are adorable. And I love the font. The O's are little hearts. So I bring it up so you can see it better. Oh, put some more glue on that one right there. See the little heart with the letter O? Super cute. All right, now to tie them, what I would do is, oh, it's not sticking here either. I'm gonna put some more glue on that. Be generous with your glue. These would be really cute for, um, cause you can easily customize this text and change it to be whatever you want it to say. But these would be cute, like I said, for little ones for their lunch or your spouse or partner for their lunch or just an everyday kind of card. Um, great for a stocking. Great for an ornament, right? All kinds of fun ways. All right, let's go ahead and get our faces here. And again, I already weeded these out, so let's hope everything goes here. All right, now I'm gonna put this one right down here on this side. And the nice thing with these faces, you don't have to be straight. Just kind of get them on there. I'm gonna put that one on there and set it aside. this one down here and set it aside. Then we'll come back and take the transfer tape off of these. Put 
and there's no flap to keep them closed, I would just take some twine around them. I think twine would look cute. The eye there. There we go. Aren't these fast though? I apologize if you heard Dinah's belly. It's gurgling today. She's a gurgler. Our last one right here. All right, now we're gonna take my bag folder and just give them a little bit of a rub. And take the tape off. Always lay the tape flat against your surface so you don't get bubbles. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. Adorable. All right, let's rub this one. I'm using the Cricut um, Smart Vinyl and the Cricut Transfer Tape. I'm not a fan at all of the Cricut Transfer Tape. I don't like it. This is all I had. All right, so there's that one there. wrap one of them with twine and when I resize them I size them to where they can hold money you know because I think a dollar bill is six inches so I made them a little bit bigger than that all right our last one again you can resize them any size you want and let me grab some twine over here. I'm going to grab some of this embroidery floss. I like this stuff here. All right, now we're going to find the opening to it. That's always the hardest part. Let's just grab a chunk of it right here. So I'm going to cut it. Not on that end. All right. So once you put your whatever you're putting in there. Just take a little bit of twine or string. You can tie it into a bow or a knot. It's up to you. We're gonna go for a bow. We're gonna try it. Maybe it'll keep it closed. You know, if you want to, you can even bring it down more on this side. Like that. Isn't that cute? How fun is that? All right, my friends, so there you have it. There's one. This one says for when you miss me, for when you're happy, for when you're sad, for when you're anxious, for when you can't sleep, and for when you're bored. And I do have a card kit for you. I have all the faces on vinyl as well as all these pieces. I did have to fold um, these in half one time so they'd be able to fit in the envelope. But to win the card kit, just go to my website, be the first to comment. I will have a direct link below. Be the first to comment and you'll be the winner of the card kit. All right, my friends, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.